Morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Wednesday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. My heart is ready, O God, I will sing, sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake life and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. O come and deliver your friends. Help with your right hand and reply. From his holy place, God has made his promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine in Manasseh. Ephraim I take for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use for my washbowl. On Edom I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines I will shout in triumph. 
but who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Adam? Will you actually reject us, O God, and no longer march with your armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has robed me with grace and salvation. I rejoiced heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants, and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not be silent, for Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet, until her vindication shines forth like the dawn, and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication, and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the land of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your hand. No more shall men call you forsaken, or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight, and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you, and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builders shall marry you, and as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall our your God rejoice in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will praise my God all the days of my life. My soul, give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day comes to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. You have also forgotten the exhortation addressed to you as children, my son, do not disdain the discipline of the Lord, or lose heart when reproved by Him. For whom the Lord loves, He disciplines, He scourges every son He acknowledges. Endure your trials as discipline, God treats you as His sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? At that time, all discipline seems a cause not for joy, but for faith, but for pain. Yet later it brings the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who are trained by it. 
So strengthen your drooping hands and your weak knees. Make straight paths for your feet, that what is lame may not be dislocated, but healed. Strive for peace with everyone, and for that holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one be deprived of the grace of God, that no bitter root spring up and cause trouble, through which many may become defiled. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. Bless the Lord, O my soul. All my being, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear Him. For He knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. But the kindness of the Lord is from eternity to eternity toward those who fear Him, and His justice toward children's children among those who keep His covenant. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. Please stand. sheep hear my voice says the Lord I know them and they follow me A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to him, Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kind and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deeds there apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. For the past few days, we heard stories about Jesus performing great miracles. Last Monday and yesterday, we heard from the Gospel the, the miracles of Jesus. And you will see from that 
These are not simple things. These are big things. Mabibigat na mga eksena. You will see, we heard stories about how Jesus performed or cast out the, the evil spirits, the raising of the dead, and even healing this woman who has been afflicted with hemorrhages for 12 years. Sabi ko nga po, hindi po mga simpleng eksena. Miracles that are really, really big. And it happened, those things happened, simply because of their faith. Malakas ang kanilang pananampalataya. And so today, in our gospel, we heard about the total opposite of that scenes. Total opposite. As you heard in the gospel, at the end, it says, Jesus was not, a, was not able to perform miracles. Wala sa nagawang himala. Why? Simply because of the lack of faith of the people around him at that time. So you will see, kung gaano kahalaga ang pananampalataya. And truly, faith blocks God's blessings. Kapag may pananampalataya, tunay nga namang papasok ang biyaya. Para kapag wala ang pananampalataya, o di kala kulang sa pananampalataya, nako, wala rin biyayang matap mapapala. Kaya the lesson is about the formation of our faith. The gospel today is calling us of the importance of our formation of our faith. That we do not just simply have this kind of faith. We have to make sure that our faith is so firm. Hindi yung tipong may pananampalataya ka lang. The gospel is calling us something more. Na dapat ang ating pananampalataya ay matibay, buo, at malalim. The firmness of our faith. Sabi ko nga po, it's all about the formation of being able to have that very firm faith. Hindi yung tipong marunong ka lang magdasal. Hindi yung tipong nagsisimba ka lang. Hindi yung tipong pumapasok ka lang ng simbahan, tapos na. Again, the call is, we have to be firm in our faith. Sapagat kapag malalim ang pananampalataya, tiyak, papasok ang biyaya ng Diyos. Kapag kulang sa pananampalataya, mababo ang pananampalataya. Ayan, sabi ko nga po, baka sayang yung biyaya. We need to be firm in our faith because, you know, makikita mo, if you are so firm with your faith, you always turn out to seek out for Jesus. Hahanap-hanapin mo ang Diyos. Puputa ka sa Diyos. Lalapit ka sa Diyos. Why? It's because you know your limitation. Mas nangingibabaw yung, yung kahinaan mo. Mas nakikita mo sa sarili mo yung kahinaan mo. Kapag kulang ka sa pananampalataya, yung mga taong ito hindi na nangangailangan ng Diyos. We need to, to strengthen our faith so that we will be always to seek out for Jesus at all times. Look at what happened in the story yesterday, this official. He went out to seek out for Jesus. Hinanap niya ang Diyos. Alam niyo yung official na yun. At that time, siya yung tipong napakataas sa lipunan. Pero ano nakita niya sa sarili niya? Mas nakita niya yung kahinaan niya. And so, he gave up everything and he went out to seek out for Jesus and ask for help. And not only that, anong ginawa niya when he, he met Jesus? He fell down in front of Jesus. Ang mga taong mataas ang pananampalataya, ayun yung mga taong mas higit na nang, nagpapakumbaba. Pero yung mga taong kulang sa pananampalataya, Mababo ang pananampalataya. Tiyak, yun yung mga taong mataas ang tingin sa sarili. 
Madalas pa naman kung sino pa yung malapit o laging. Ito yung irony ha? Ito yung nakakalungkot minsan. The irony. Nagsisimba nga everyday. Malapit nga sa simbahan. Pero kapag mababo lamang ang pananampalataya, ang pundasyon na ito, baka we might turn out to be the people in the gospel today. Sila yung malapit kay Jesus, kasama ni Jesus, But then look at what happened. Dahil sa mababaw ang kanilang pananampalataya, most of the time these people turn out to be who can easily reject Jesus, insult Jesus, and don't even appreciate Jesus. Bakit? Sapagat ang mas tingin nila ay hindi ang Diyos. Mas hingi, ang tingin nila, mas angat sila sa Diyos. Kaya yeah, maging maingat tayo, ito yung sinasabi kong the formation of our faith. Ano ba ang naidudulot ng ating pananampalataya? Kayabangan ba o yung pagpapakumbaba? And the gospel is telling us this one, magkaroon ng pananampalataya upang matuto tayong magpakumbaba. Hindi pagiging mayabang at mataas sa sarili sapagat ako ay may may pananampalataya. Hindi po. The gospel in today, the message in today's gospel, the message of Jesus, we need to firm that faith. We need to strengthen our faith so that we will be able to humble ourselves, not only to God, but to all. The second thing is that we need to be firm in our faith so that we, we, have, the, we have this kind of fortitude and perseverance in our daily undertakings. Kinakailangan natin ang pananampalataya, matibay na pananampalataya, tayo, upang tayo rin maging matibay sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. We will learn how to cope up in the midst of these struggles in life. Hindi po ibig sabihin na kapag may pananampalataya, ha, perfect na ang buhay mo, tuloy-tuloy na ang biyaya, isang dasal lang andyan na. There will always be challenges. And that is why the message of St. Paul in the first reading tells us about we should not lose heart every time we think God is trying to discipline us. Look at the term. Discipline us. Yung tipong hinahamon tayo ng Diyos minsan. Tinitest tayo ng Diyos. Hinahamon yung ating pananampalataya. Minsan masakit. Minsan nasasaktan tayo, minsan mahirap. Sometimes ang hirap tanggapin. But we should never lose heart. Sapagat ayon nga ni San Pablo, ginagawa lamang ito ng Diyos sa mga taong mahal niya. We need that fortitude, perseverance, and we can only be able to do that if we are so firm in our faith. Again, It's all about the formation of our faith. Kaya, kumusta ba ang ating pananampalataya? Kumusta ba ang buhay, panalangin? Kumusta ka ba bilang isang katoliko? Kumusta ka ba bilang isang pananampalataya? Naipapakita ba ito sa ating buhay as humble people? Naipapakita ba natin ito every day? That no matter what, we will not give up on our faith. We will remain strong in our faith. We have to form our faith. We have to be firm in our faith. For true faith, we will be able to receive God's blessings. We all stand. Jesus was rejected by His own people. In faith, we accept Him as our Lord and our Savior. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may speak the word of God with courage and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may be committed in proclaiming God's word, 
to unbelieving world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries may be patient and not lose heart in showing the messages of God in unwelcoming places. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the courage of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prior provincial and for our brothers and ministry at Bahia Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the deportees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, open our hearts to your word. Forgive us for the times we have refused to listen to your truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the fine work of human hands, it will become more spiritual to thee. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him. Through Christ our Lord. And through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. And may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoon Diyos, Be 
is new. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Si Cristo ay namatay Si Cristo ay nabuhay Si Cristo ay babalik Sa wakas ng Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Padre Pio, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, but only, only say, say the word, word and my soul. my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion. Bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
please all stand. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has He's come to his people, people and, and set, set them free. free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. So his, his holy, holy prophets, prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, enemies from, from the hands, hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This, this was, was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the, in the tender, tender compassion, compassion of our God, God the dawn the from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all the days of our life. May dear friends, we shall pray the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we receive during the COVID pandemic. And so we shall say, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who have died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this, we thank you and praise you. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sea. Almighty God, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The blessing of the rosaries and all religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these images, rosaries, and candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.